the production music template. Um, we did some little spy-like light tension cue here. Let's take a listen what we've done. First, so this is went through all the instruments that are set up within the template. Lots of loop stuff from Heaviosity and single instruments. Sorry, I don't know if I get a picture for you today. Oh my god. The tension is incredible. get the concept so and finally no picture for you today <sighs> so um yeah that was light tension and we stay within the template go over here where we have a tempo change and let's start over again with a completely new cue i have no idea what we're doing now um, let's raise the tempo a little bit might even go higher let's say 132 okay Let's start with some nasty stuff here. Sounds nice. Let's start with this one. Four bars. So I had it on A, I guess. Let's go with G. And actually start one bar later. <laughs> this stream is expensive to watch. I'm sorry for that, guys. Uh, was not intentional. <laughs> Come on! I have 
have an idea. Um, let's go with uh, <laughs> duplicate that guy. Here we are. So there uh, trailer tensions Let's try this one out. Copy that. Uh, let's get it on. Uh, we got complete 11. No, got complete 10. Not ultimate. Sounds awesome. So four bars of this. Modulation up. Let's go with this one. Actually, sixteen. No, eighth notes. So these are straight to the grid. And can hear 
feel that it's a little bit behind the click, so let's move them forward. Do a little bit more of the percussion work here. A little softer. Totally too great. Um, what do we need? Trombones. land on the beat. So we lost some frames.
duplicate the first one that was better. sure about the choir there um, let's This sounds totally strange, but on the other end, also cool. Hmm, not too shabby. drums Very simple line there. Sounds bad on its own.
very, very simple, but if you combine that with the rest, nice so I'll go on with this one uh. damn it not there full spiccato Something went wrong here. That sounds like shit. Your mic is a bit low. Well then, so it's a little bit higher now. <laughs> uh, okay, pun intended. Um, Okay, let's go with eight now, eighth notes. Um.
really like where this is going. But anyway, I mean, the thing is, what I initially wanted to to show here is um, is going from this. Within the same template. cheesy here but um so what i would do is actually delete this um so um nevertheless we can uh, still keep the percussion there <laughs> Let's do some steps. Same in the trombones, but octave lower. And duplicate that for the two bass. was this Nim, dim, dim. Yeah, exactly. Problems in the Let me something for for the metal part. <laughs> Thank 
think we can keep the guitar here. Is that available an octopire? Yeah. Let's try this uh, with a violas. Um, let's do kind of an arc. Still some key switching going on here somewhere. Not sure where. <laughs> This is a bug I discovered in uh, Adventure Brass, by the way. So if these guys are looking. Um, when key switching, the playback stops. It only happens when I key switch the Adventure Brass. that let's do some mean ponticello <laughs> Did you trigger that step recording? No problem there. So there's a button over here, step input. You define the quantization of what you want to input, and then you place that blue cursor over here. I think pretty much every DAW allows that. So you can say I want quarter notes, say I want eight notes. So, um, and that button over here, so this activates this blue line and wherever you put that blue line, you start step inputting. You can also step input quarter notes, but quantize the length to eight notes. So you get uh, eight notes, depending on what you want. You mean this cue? This is iterative quantizing where you can set that up here. For example, if you want uh, seven tuplets, like for playing uh, an octave run, for example. 
So actually, step recording is for guys who can play keyboard. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So. so let's put in some woodwinds here. The second one was ah, uh, now that happened. I want to actually quantize to eighth notes, so and this guy, by the way, determines whether you quantize heart to grit. Let me back that up. So, this is what I played in. So, if I turn that off, it quantizes heart to grit, and if I turn that on. You can near what you uh, what you played in, so you can still keep some kind of performance feel on it, and not like a machine put it put it totally straight. So here we actually want a key change. A little bit of modulation there. And let's turn up the grid a little bit. the key switch down. So let's duplicate this and put that even an octave lower. Can use some trombones more here. Let's see what we can do with um, Spitfire Evos here, especially with the nasty ones. 
Let's go with the red ones. That sounds nice. This one. Nice. Uh, let's bring in some more. Strange stuff. Spitfire Evos 1 and the last area here is really, really nice. Uh, let's go with this one. Nope. nice so let's go with these thing is, let's bring that back here. And bring this guy back here. That's not too bad. Well, it's rather nice. Um. 
would never do any Harry Potter here. Oh, sorry. Um. I think that should be fine already. I actually wanted to listen to both one after another to actually grab the difference. Uh, as I said, same template, different outcome. And this is what it's all about in the end. As I said, I hate key switches. <laughs> Actually, want to. <laughs> yeah, short, uh, more horror, tension, heavy tension stuff. I like that. 
um, great for sketching out great for sketching ideas um, <laughs> Definitely needs a bang on the at the end. Um, dum -ba -dum. Go to the grid. So, um, yeah, cue number two, totally different direction. But I like how it turned out, to be honest. Uh, where did it start? There. Peter, nice to have you here. Peter Satara. Pun intended, I guess. <laughs> nice but needs a little bit low end so let's put that in actually we can add a pre-roll <laughs> 